We're going to do a couple of problems here where we're trying to find the slope of a line that's going through two points that are given to us and the points are going to contain fractions. First thing you want to do is figure out what you want to call point one and point two because what we're going to use is the slope formula. M equals the change in y, y2 minus y1 over the change in x, x2 minus x1. All right, so we've got to decide who is point one and who is point two. And it doesn't even matter which one you pick. I'm just going to pick this first one here as point 1, which means that's one, x1, and this is y1. Here's x2 and y2. And then you go ahead and feed them in to the positions in the slope formula. So we get y2 minus a third. Take away y1 minus a fifth. Watch the double negative here. We're taking away a negative. And that's divided by x2 minus one third. Take away x1, one sixth. Now we just evaluate what we have. It's a little bit messy, but take it step by step. The first thing we can do is we got a double negative, so let's plus it out. And the next thing I would do is write this integer five as a fraction, so put it over one, just so it's a little bit easier to work with with the other fraction. And because we have addition of fraction or subtraction of fractions here, we need to do common denominators and treat the numerator and denominator separately. So let's take this top one here, the numerator. Let's get a common denominator of 3. So I'm going to multiply times 3 times 3 on the 5 over 1. And that's going to give me, for the numerator, minus 1 third plus 15 over so I have common denominators on top. Let's do the same for the bottom, get common denominators. So we'll use 6 for the LCD, which means I need to do times 2 times 2 on the first guy. And that gives me minus 2 over 6, take away 1 over 6. And then we keep going. So the top, we're going to go ahead and add. So we get minus 1 plus 15, which is 14, over the common denominator of 3. And the bottom one, minus 2, take away 1, which would be minus 3, over the common denominator of 6. So we're getting there. We made one fraction over one fraction, which is where we want it to be, because now we can say, and think of this bar right here, this big fraction bar, as a division. If we have 14 over 3 divided by minus 3 over 6, that's exactly the same as 14 over 3 times the reciprocal of the bottom. Alright, so we're turning it into a multiplication problem. That means we want to now cancel. 3 and 6 cancel out, leaving a 2. And we're going to multiply across. So remember, for multiply, you don't need common denominators. So now we've got 28 over three and the whole thing is negative and that would be our slope. And before we go on to the next one, a quick check that you could do would be to retry this problem and see if you get the same slope if you call this one point one and this one point two. And you will get the same slope. You'll see that the minus signs cancel out in just the right way. You're going to end up with the same slope either way. So that'd be good practice for you. Let's do a one that's very similar but has different numbers just to get a little bit more practice. One over eight minus three and minus one over four minus one over four. All right, so again, I'm just gonna call this first one point one. So it's x1 and y1. And the second one, point 0.2, x2 and y2. And then we'll go ahead and feed it into the slope formula. The change in y divided by the change in x. So let's feed it in. We get minus a quarter for y2. Take away y1 is a minus 3 over x2 minus a quarter minus 1 eighth and evaluate. So what we want to get is just one fraction over another fraction. Right now we have two terms on top and two terms on, bot on bottom. 
So we want to evaluate the top and bottom and get one fraction for each. So let's write the minus 3 is minus 3 over 1. Subtracting means we need common denominators times 4 times 4. And that's going to give us minus 1 over 4. And here's a double negative. The plus is out. Plus 12 over 4. All over. And here we want common denominator again, times 2 times 2, minus 2 over 8, minus 1 over 8. And so we keep going. For the top we get minus 1 plus 12 is 11 over 4. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 over 8. And now we have one fraction over one fraction, which is exactly what we want, because we're going to be able to say it's the top one times the reciprocal of the bottom. So we turn it to a multiply problem. Now we do canceling. 4 goes into 8 twice. Multiply across. And we get our answer. 22 over 3. And it's a negative slope. So again, you can try this one out by switching who's point 0.1 and who's point 0.2. And just see if you get the same answer. You should get minus 22 over 3.